Ladies and gentlemen, yo, I'm Weird, and welcome to the workshop. Today, we will be honoring the ancestors with Spiritfarer. All right, so all I did between episodes was, <sighs> damn it, Francis. Anyway, uh, all I did between episodes was just travel to Furogawa because I totally, totally want to go and talk to the potentially weasel man. <clears throat> weasel man, weasel man, weasel man, weasel man, come on. Weasel man, weasel man. Pup, pup. His, see like his silhouette doesn't really scream weasel to me. But he could be wearing like a thing, anyway. Huh? Kind of looks like a bird to me, unfortunately. He's probably a bird. Oh, I see a talon there. Yeah, he's totally a bird. <clears throat> Back again, are you? And would you look at that? You've got the piece. Oh, Stella. This is very good. Uh -huh. You've managed to wrestle the woodprint from the cold hands of the hag. What ingenuity. What spunk. Yes, you'll prove to be an immense asset to all of my endeavors. Uh -huh. Or shall I say, our endeavors. Well, it's decided then. There is no pursuit left for me on this island, therefore I will join you on your little expedition. As a passenger, mind you, not as a crew member. <clears throat> yes, yes, such a boat might just be the perfect gallery. But what are we waiting for? Let's go! Let's go meet our new friend. Our unfortunately not a weasel friend. <clears throat> Man, that that sheep can hop. <clears throat> A marvelous venue. Uh -huh. All right, all right. I know I can do it. Sure, it might tingle a bit, but what if it hurts? Uh -huh. Ah, you're here. Good. You won't let it be painful, will you? Okay. I don't really trust you, but what choice do I have anyways? He's totally a bird. Oh. Hmm. He's kind of got an interesting design. Hmm. I need to think of a voice for him. Ha! Ah! I did it, and I didn't even faint. It actually feels all right. Who knew? Well, then, let's get started. Uh, what? Oh, but, of course, pardon my enthusiasm. Uh, I forgot to introduce myself. <laughs> That's a great face. How forgetful and impolite. I'm Gustav. And I don't know why, but I can't exactly shake the feeling that we've met each other already. Anyhow, I'm glad that our paths have crossed on this island, and I know that together we will accomplish great things. And this world is very is part wonderful and disgusting, and so is art. Truly, Stella, the gods have struck us with a grand inspiration. It is our solemn duty to elevate souls with beauty and awe. My resolve is strong, Stella. I will put together the greatest exhibit of my life, and you will help me. Oh, how grandiose it will be! Oh, but first, payment. I have been called a lot of things. But never a cheapskate. He's got nothing to say. Gives you valuable items. Okay. Um. Uh, that's not enough. Okay, so I need some fried chicken. I'm gonna go back to Mount Toroyama. Maybe that sheep is the right one. Cowardly CEO. Um, uh, how do I, there it is, inventory. I need to look at how many ovals I have, but I don't remember at all where to find those. Oh wait, there they are, two. I have two ovals, but I don't remember any shrines. Oh, hey, he's... maybe he'll tell me how to build his house. Uh -huh. 
Stella, uh, the boat looks delightful, but uh, this prow, what a waste of space. Really, you should consider brightening it up with a, a figurehead. I'm sure any decent shipwright would help you with that. Now, where to start? Uh, before we start working on the exhibit exhibition proper, some preparations are required. Namely, making sure we have access to proper installations. Now, bear with me. This is, is this boat equipped with some sort of woodworking facility, such as a sawmill? It would have numerous structural applications. Yes, how convenient. A loom would also make us, allow us to make clothing in, in canvas. Is there one aboard? Oh, fantastic. A foundry with metalworking tools also has a number of applications. Is there anything that could fit the bill? There is a fully functioning foundry. You've got a, quite a well-furnished ship, Stella. And finally, the cornerstone of any curator's work, a mailbox. Correspondence with my fellow academics and collectors is essential to my work here. You've built a mailbox already. Fantastic. Well, it seems a couple of items are left unchecked. I'll let you get to it. They were all checked. Like, wait a minute. Planks! Get your planks! I made some planks for you, Stella. Enjoy! Thank you. In recompense, I will feed you. Um, have some shellfish. Oh boy! I just love food. Keep them coming. I can't get enough of it. Alrighty, um... Oh, wow. Uh... Tile dans l'or massif. I do not know if I said that correctly or anything. Upgrade the boat with a figurehead. Oh, the thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. Is this already ready to. Yeah, it's already ready to harvest. Okay, moving right along. What's up? What's up, Summer? Oh, she's gonna play. Thank you. And it was Mount Furogawa, or am I on Furogawa? Um, Toroyama. There he is. <clears throat> Mount Toroyama. Where is that? Quarry. Oh, I can also look at these to see if I see a shrine on any. Hmm. <laughs> There's a shrine in Hummingburg. Okay. Oh, that's not at all where I wanted to go. Not even the tiniest bit. There. Let's let's be moving while I'm searching. Or should I head straight to the shrine? I should probably head straight to the shrine. I'm gonna head straight to the shrine. I want I want a new ability. Admittedly, I don't know that I'll be able to get a new ability. Should also figure out exactly what I need for a uh, a figurehead. Hi, buddy. Food. Um. Fish. I'm not hungry. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, you had a talk option. What's going on? Oh, pff, okay. <laughs> hey! Magical mutant sea lion. This one, I think. Go there. All right, here we are. I didn't mean to climb that. Up. Should be 
quick... Which one was this? Was this maybe... I don't remember what it said I would get here. Is this the glide? I think the only other, I think the only other one I've seen is the glide, so that one should be this one. Okay. Let's fish. We have a lot more fishing to do. Huh. Neat. What collection that falls under. Man, that collection the collection thing is gonna do me in. Oh, I was not paying attention. <sighs> collection stuff in games always always gives me a hard time. I've got such a completionist attitude. Okay. Oh, there it is. Goody. Um, let me interact with it. Hello? Won't let me interact with it at all. It's nighttime. Um, oh, this, ah, this must be the one I already got. I don't remember, it's been, it's been a while. Um, shoot. On. <clears throat> hmm. Back to the bus stop for now. Uh, back in. Ah, oh, here, go talk to him. Shoot. I don't remember. I don't remember at all. I could have sworn I saw another shrine at some point. Now I can't... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Stop it. Yeah. But I can't remember where I saw it. And now, honestly, I'm questioning whether I actually did see it. Mm. Oh, I need to change an option real quick. Put it in windowed mode at one point. Now it's messing with me because I couldn't see the bottom of that list. Hmm. Right. Fine. Now that our preparatory work is fully complete, I think it's time to start working on some proper infrastructure. Ideally, a project of this breadth would require a dedicated space to project the more fragile pieces from the elements, but it also requires an office desk on which the curator can work comfortably, uh -huh. as well as a waiting area, uh, a front desk, some storage, maybe even a gift shop, though we might manage without one. What? What? A bit much? On the contrary, Stella, I assure you that all of these are perfectly necessary. Uh -huh. Luckily, as a rational man, I realized that, a, that space might be an issue. That's why I thought of a multi-purpose area that would do wonderfully. Let's get to it. Grab a pencil and listen carefully. A gallery is a paradoxical space, for it both houses works of art and is one. Architecture is, after all, the first expression of humanity's mastery over nature. As such, as a template... <laughs> I like that it, it blacks out, <laughs> and she is just done. And that is one of the many ways the Bauhaus School of Chicago integrated Etruscan architecture in its ideas. All right, uh, have you got all that written down? I don't mind going over the finer points of the lecture again. Uh, do you need me to repeat? No. 
Well, if you insist, I'll let you get to it then. Oh boy. I nailed him. <laughs> I had no idea he was going to be that long-winded when I nailed him. Uh, let's just go here. <clears throat> Twing. Oh. I'm sure you could find sign. I'm sure you could find something nutritious for me. Um, let's go with grilled fish. Thank you, Skipper. This meal is nourishing. Okay. Plays have music, gives you valuable items. Okay, cool. I'm gonna give him tea. I should make tea. I should get us moving. I don't think I've actually made tea. Whoop. Hmm. That was weird. All right. Cook. Um, tea leaves. Cook. That was quick. A cup of tea. All right, um, let's try squid rice cook. Oh, that's going to take a lot longer. Oh, uh, let's see. Sunflower seeds. More cotton. Okay. I'm going to run and just water this real fast. And then whoosh on my way. Um, how are you? have corn okay so I'm wondering if he's just gonna stay if he's my sheep now or if he's going to follow me onto the island and I can give him to the, the person yep totally the right sheep which is kind of frustrating because I would yeah no, like I was totally expecting to find him on this island later once I'd gotten another like mobility upgrade <clears throat> good job you brought a second sheep oh look at them they'll be so happy together oh they're acting kind of coldly not surprising well they just have to get to know each other I'm sure they'll be best friends in no time as for me well it was nice feeling needed what you want me to join you on your travels oh no 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 I couldn't possibly impose myself on all of you. Besides, I'm sure there's no room for me. For sure, this island is a little bare, but I'm sure a little house could fit quite nicely here. A little bungalow with nice vines and potted flowers, maybe, with pale tones and cozy cottage facade. Oh, and the green window shades. <sighs> my, that would be so wonderful. Oh, sorry, I was lost in my thoughts. No, you go on ahead. I'll be just fine here. Oh, back so soon? I'm always happy to see you, sweetheart, but don't let me hold you back from your adventures. Okay, so... I think if we go and build her house, we might be able to get her on the ship. Oh, wait. Who, who wanted to talk to me? Oh, Francis. What now? Something new! Francis says, it's your lucky day. How lucky you must be. I've got a new errand just for you. Okay, it's just the same thing. Okay. Errands. What have you got? This one again. Sure. I actually can't do that one this time. Okay. Um, bye. I don't need an old shoe. Don't want an old seed. 
Um, I'll buy empty bottles, though. Uh, sell. Okay, cool. Let's go figure out if we actually cook something that we haven't cooked before. Fish curry! Okay. Wumpf. Um, right. Blueprint. Let's see what we need. Uh, cotton thread, which we'll get a little bit of here in a minute. Don't have any marble. Don't have any glass. Ooh, I can do that, though. Linen thread and our... Okay, yeah, I can do that real quick. Iron. Finalize. Wumpf. 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 Man, the iron one is slow. Oh, and I noticed last time I don't—I didn't say anything, but uh, if you keep it within this this wedge here, it continues to make progress. If it comes out of this wedge, it doesn't make progress, but you only lose your progress once you hit this darkened wedge here. So there is there is room to go over a little. Okay. Thank you. Ingots. Uh, loom. Chunk. 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 All right. Alice's cottage. Um. Scoozy. There it is. Ta da! Edits. Okay. Hmm. for me. Let's go get her. <clears throat> Alice, who I'm wondering if she's like a sheep or something. Considering she was dealing with sheep. But that'd be a little too on the nose. Um, um, pig. I'm thinking a pig. Oh, you built a house? For me? You shouldn't have, really, but since it's there, well, I guess it'd be rude of me not to move in. Thank you so very much, sweetheart. Yeah, I'm not really sure. With that with that silhouette, I'm kind of thinking pig. Like that little this little like protrusion here could be a tusk. Nose. Some of the bristles. Hmm. We'll find out. We're getting a new friend. Little one, what is this? Oh, a little ceremony. All right, I'll try to do my best. Oh my gosh, she's a hamster or a hedgehog. Oh geez, that's just adorable. Oh, this is really pleasant. Soft as a waffle and warm as a pie. <laughs> I feel young again. Thank you so much for having me, young one. Don't you worry about me now. I'll find my way around. Um, I'm thinking hedgehog. 
Not a hundred percent though. She doesn't look spiny enough. But she doesn't quite fit hamster either. Hmm. Okay. Um. Oh, what's the new guy's name? I forget. Gustav. That's what it was. <clears throat> Alright, so... We need a bunch of stuff for him. No, not edit. That's not what I wanted. Uh, let's see if we can improve her house at all. Aluminum, which we don't have. Glass. Ugh. And it looks like I'm going to need a bunch of wool. So, need more aluminum. An orchard, which means needs nebula thread. Sheep corral, which I could do. I'm going to do that. I don't really have any sheep, but I'm going to endeavor to put this as low down as I can manage. Oh, I'm going to put it right there, actually. Oh, looks good. Um, eventually, I will I will endeavor to put that as low down as possible because I feel like it's rude to ask sheep to, like, climb ladders. Uh, then again, that sheep did, like, have mad hops, so... Um, hi. Hi, sheep. How do I... Do, do I, like, shear you? How does that work? How do I shear you? How do I get your, your precious fibers? Why does this corral have smokestacks? I guess the questions will never end. Um, okay, let's look at what we have, what we have to do. Um, I still need to get fried chicken. I still need to talk to the CEO. <clears throat> I need to get a figurehead. I need to get the gallery. And I need a bunch of stuff. Oh, I got hematite. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Summer, 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 summer. Oh. Oh, everyone's asleep. All right, I'll go. I'll go sleep through the night. I kind of wish you could uh, access the bed from like up here, because I keep finding myself like jumping over to just try and head directly there rather than down to into the the door. Dang. Good morning. Ah, uh, you. Stella, can you hear my stomach? It's restless. Do you have a little something for me? Um. There you go. Okay. Give. Uh, da, da, da. Hematite. Wonderful! A hematite! Hematite crystals ground and balance your energy. It is said that their highly protective energy is good for helping women who lack courage. They stimulate the mind, too, and improve self-confidence, willpower, and self-esteem. Oh, and are famous for their action to provide pain relief. Not to mention, they smell really good. Okay. Plays music to plants, yes. Okay. Cool. Stella! And with that last gem, my basic medicine cabinet is complete. And since my meditation room is already furnished with a nice little altar, you can come by and admire it at any time. In any case, I am truly grateful for all your help. You were always, after all, a radiating presence, a beacon of light. 
Stella, I hadn't planned on it, but I think I have something more important to teach you. But our next class, well, we'll have to leave the boat for it. I've heard of a nice spot in Mount Toriyama on a cliff overlooking the horizon. I think it makes for a nice classroom. I'm already, I'm ready when you are. Just set sail. Okay, we're already there, so might as well. Look! I found something you might like. Uh, perhaps. Here's a gift from my collection. I hope you appreciate the value of such oddities. Nice! What a delightful fancy vase! Do I actually have to wait for Summer to get to the... Okay, she's not that as far as I worried she would be. Oh, wait a minute. Is that Alice? Got something to ask? Yes. Oh, you came! Would you look at that, Stella? This little sheep wanted to come with us. I guess it didn't like its new companion very much after all. Well, no worry. We'll take good care of you. But first, all this wool. It looks quite uncomfortable, doesn't it? And, oh no, we're on a boat. It's like that story of the flock of sheep that fell off of a boat. I don't know that story. Oh, we can't have that. Go ahead, Stella. Shear the wool right off its back. It's for the best. There we go. Sheer. <laughs> His face is great. Why did a key? Key from Mount Toriyama's house. Okay. Okay, cool. Neat. Oh, you don't have more to say. Let's go look at that. We have so much to do here. Rose? We're here. What a nice, quaint place. And if you, well, it can't be heat beaten, can it? This, this will be perfect. This, I see a little promontory up, up that cliff there. Just go ahead, I'll meet you there. How will I do it? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure I'll manage to snake my way up. Well, I mean, that makes sense. Snakes are real, real good. Oh, can I just shear you? Fuck yeah. Give. I'm sure that that was traumatizing, but it's mine now. Okay. Um, so there's a house somewhere that needs a key. Is it this one? Excellent. La -da. Ceramic bowl and cherry seeds. Mm. Okay, cool. Very nice. I got cherry seeds. <clears throat> and I don't remember the way up. <clears throat> Oof. go. That's some nice coal. Why is she not doing the double jump? There we go. Um, more mining. Because you can never really have too much coal in video games anyway. Why can't I? Oh, slate. I don't have a use for slate, but... I think I was timing that wrong. Is this the exit? Looks like an exit. Excellent. Hello. Huh. I haven't lost my touch, have I? I might be old, but I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. And beating younglings in a climbing race has always been a specialty of mine. Really? That's a weird specialty. But enough of this. Let's focus on the matter at hand. This lesson, as you might have guessed, will be a little bit special. Up to now, we focused on the proper care of plants and crops. Well now, I think it's time to concentrate on the proper care of one's mind. Sunlight and music were the tools of the former. Well, for the latter, our tool was the act of meditating. And that's specifically why I brought you here. See this boulder? It hasn't been consecrate, consecrated for nothing. Powerful spiritual energies flow through the area. 
I know, I know, it might seem strange. A cult, even. But just humor me. First things first, sit down next to me, just like this. All right, your turn. Meditation, Stella, is an affair of wholeness. Ah, Daffodil, you're adorable. Of wholeness and oneness. A lot of novices believe, wrongfully, that meditating is the pursuit of an empty mind. But the mind is not empty, Stella. It is a beast, savage and untamed, violent and caring, loving and destructive, hateful, curious, scared, a ball of frayed nerves. Much like the dragon, it cannot be controlled. It must be allowed to roam free. My father also lived with this tormented creature. Of a different kind, perhaps. He chose to fight it. Tried to muscle it down into submission. To mark it under the auspice of violence. And mostly, to silence it. He thought that nothing was the nothingness was the solution. But the dragon is indomitable. The fight left my father a broken man. Let your mind wander, Stella. Gently, like you would a scared kitten. Let it smell the grass. Let it notice the wind flowing through your hair. The heat radiating from the stone behind you. The rhythmic breaking of the waves below. Let your spirit penetrate all things. Not to make them yours but to make yourself theirs. Be one and be whole, but keep being. Okay. Seems like my lesson had quite the influence. You were up there for hours. I just had to stretch my legs at some point. Oh, what are you saying? A vision? Of course. You're the spirit bearer after all. I didn't get a vision. The mystical energies of the world are bound to affect you in mysterious ways. I'm sure there are other such areas of power. If you find them, be sure to take time and meditate. Perhaps more visions will rain down upon your mind. You know, Stella, while you were up there, I tried to do some thinking. I wanted to prepare for our next lesson. There's so much to teach, but I couldn't think. My mind was uneasy, for you see, I too have had a vision, a gift from the universe. It's the dragon, Stella. I have felt him creeping slowly towards me. I thought I had some grand purpose to accomplish before he would swallow me whole. But now I realize that the dragon hasn't crept much at all. He's kept up with me for quite a while now, and ignoring it won't do me any good. Well, let's go, shall we? All right, sure thing. I think I'm gonna call that call that an episode, guys. Um, if you like the video, then please leave a like. And if you really like it, then subscribe so you don't miss any of my future content. Uh, if you have something you want to tell me about this game, or there's another game that you want me to play, leave a comment. And if you want to interact with me on a more personal level, I have a Discord. The link will be in the description. I'm Weird, and these have been my workings.